Yeah, the only reason I'm doing that is because I stopped yeah. it, right? Someone tells me. If you're standing up, you have to hold on to something. <laughs> um, this is Ella. This is a completely electric, completely autonomous vehicle. It completely drives itself, as you can tell. It's uh, running off a GPS system that's uh, one of the most sophisticated in the world, accurate to within three millimeters. It's uh, constantly looking out with a LiDAR system, which is like the eyes of the vehicle, looking at 280 meters at 360 degrees all the way around itself. So it knows exactly what's happening around it all the time. If anything comes within five feet, it slows down, three feet it comes to a complete stop. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I see that you've been controlling a little bit because it's been, but yeah, but when it's actually in use, then uh, there will be no screen touching right. for okay. anyone. Yeah. Yeah, I just have I have the ability to stop it. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> and any, anybody that was riding on it, even if there's no um, operator on board, you would still have the ability to stop it, right? So okay. like that. So yeah. just that yeah. one button. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Is it normally only this maximum yeah, capacity of six people? No, that's capacity of twelve. Twelve. So six it's setting. It's gonna be a bigger. Use. Than yeah, the these, no, these two here are seats oh, okay. as well, eight, and then you have the straps and the handles, right, like a bus. And is there going to be like a central monitoring system? Like uh, somebody's going to be like That's monitoring right. and at the station, and where will that be? No. It, it depends. Right now, for example, uh, if you're on this vehicle and you have an issue, any problems, um, you can just push this red SOS button, yeah. and my cell phone will ring. Oh, okay. And I can answer my cell phone. Just give me a demo. I've turned it off, so I won't bring my cell phone. <laughs> Drive me crazy. Oh, okay. uh, so it would call me or an operator. <laughs> And uh, I can operate, oh, Earl, answer the phone. I can see you and talk to you. There's a speaker up here with a camera right in the center. Okay. And I can control this vehicle from anywhere in the world myself. Oh, okay. This vehicle is actually running off your cell phone right now, which is connected to a server in France. So you see these people, this vehicle is seeing them long before it got to them. So it would come, if they don't come within five feet of us, they're fine. If they come within five feet, we'll slow down. Three feet comes to a complete stop. Even these people walking way down here, this yeah. vehicle sees them. It's got them in, in the scope already. It sees everything all the way around. There, right? So it's unidirectional, so it goes both directions. So as you can tell, we turn and going the other way. And now the uh, lights on the front, which were the brake lights, and now the headlights. So we've set this up here to demonstrate basically like what a bus stop would do. It would come in here, stop, and then uh, somebody could get on or off, right? Mm -hmm. And you can have however many stops you want along the way, it doesn't matter. What's like the top speed of this? <laughs> 45. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. It's not meant to be a highway vehicle, it's more yeah. of a commuter type, shuttle type vehicle, right? So if we come in here and stop on the magnet, this is the bus stop. And what could happen then is it could be on the outside, has access to these two buttons as well as the inside. So they can just close it, open and close the doors. If they didn't close the doors, once they got in, the doors would close on the Mac in fifteen seconds. And uh, if a person's in a wheelchair or has accessibility issues, then they can push the blue button and the vehicle lowers four inches and a ramp comes out. So it's designed for bus, not for a taxi. Yeah, it's designed more for a shuttle, this particular vehicle. To shuttle people from one point to another, right? Yeah. Uh, we have 170 being used right now. Uh, for various things. Everything from airport shuttles to at universities to um, in Florida we have one being used as a school bus, for example. So there's all sorts of uses for them, right? Popular amongst airports and factories and that sort of, those sorts of things. Uh, how how many? What ones? What? Twelve. Well, how many do we have? Yeah. yeah how much money do we do we have? Do we need <laughs> to buy one? One. Where do we currently have these? Uh, these? Uh, yeah, uh, not in Canada. This is the only one in Canada. Okay. Right? Um, so we have them deployed in um, Arizona, 
in the US, in the Florida, um, Denver, Colorado, a bunch of other places, and um, Europe and Asia as well. And they're mostly used in the airports. That's right. Short, short. short shuttles, yeah. And where are we planning to use these mostly at airports? Yeah. Yeah. Well, here the airport in Canada, university and eventually yeah, it, it depends it like, on the city. Yet, no, right? that's right, yeah. It depends on the cities, on the municipalities, how they want to use them, if they want to use them, right? So, Vancouver and Surrey is joined together. There's a, uh, a big thing out right now across Canada, the federal government for $15 million in competition. And Surrey and Vancouver is joined together on this project. And there's, uh, they're in the top five right now so working for that money, so. Does it need gas? No gas, all electric. Ooh. It runs on four 48 volt lithium ion batteries. And it runs for 16 hours. Wow. It takes about four hours to charge it. That's great. Yeah. Great. And it just plugs into a regular 220 volt type thing. Like you plug your uh, stove in or dryer. Open it up. Oh, one last question. So there, there's a capacity of 12. So, but then is there.